Hello there, how are you? Welcome back. Well, as you can see, this canopy has gone from being a pool shade area to the hay shade slash water protection area, and it has seen its better day. Ginger, no, I knew I needed to come up with some kind of a MacGyver to protect the hay. I didn't want anything with legs that came down the sides and I actually preferred to have something attached to the hay ring itself. So I came up with two pieces of 10 foot conduit. I measured it to the center, smashed it flat. Once I got it flat in the center I was able to drill a hole through the two pieces and then I attached the two pieces with a bolt washers and a locking nut. Now the beauty of this setup is I could take it off if I needed to and it's kind of scissored so it would close down or open up. But by me doing this and hammering the ends of this half inch electrical conduit over to conform to the top rail, I can actually just use uh, self-tapping sheet metal screws, attach that conduit right to the top of the top rail. It's not interfering with the cow's path of travel around the hay as they eat. And I can just flip the round bale feeder up, put the hay underneath on the pallet, and then flip the hay feeder back down and never even have to mess with the canopy. Now for today, I'm going to simply be using more of this house wrap that I have. Again, this year we're kind of all about trying to repurpose as much as we can. But while I'm doing that, I'm going to start checking Facebook Marketplace, Garage Sales, Craigslist. Find myself an inexpensive tarp that will fit the top of this. And I think the tarp will last much longer. However, the house wrap will work just fine. As you can see, I'll be easily able to lift that ring up, put the new round bale on top of the pallet, and then put the hay ring back down. Now, any place that I drilled a hole, I went ahead and used this plastic dip. It's the stuff you use on your tools when the handles, protectors come off. And I just did that to afford a little bit of protection. These are both galvanized metals, so they should be okay. But just in case for rust, I thought that that would be the smart thing to do. Also, for today, I'm just attaching it with this black Gorilla Tape. And by pulling it down underneath and then having the Gorilla Tape go back underneath the, the house wrap, it puts downward pressure on the Gorilla Tape. So it should hold up fairly well. We'll see how long this lasts. But as you can see, so I wrap it around, then I push up the house wrap, and then the house wrap pushes back down on it and kind of pinches it in place. Alrighty then, I'll keep you all up to date on how well this holds up. Thanks for stopping by. Have an absolutely wonderful and blessed week. I'll see you next time. Take care.